it's going to be a different kind of inspiration because I'm going to ask you to all put your microphones on and quickly tell me what is one statement that would be unique about you that you would want people to remember about you because I have two lines that I always remind people about at the end of the year, particularly because of pandemic. Here goes, life is fleeting, tomorrow is not promised. I will repeat it again for the second time once more, this time with feeling over and over again. Yes, life is fleeting, tomorrow is not promised. Of course, everyone can say he was a good man, she was a good mom, but that's so generic. What would be something unique? And let me start it by saying, people know that for Triple W, for me, it's not World Wide Web, it's Wacky Wild Woman at 71. Because I tell people, be entertained as you get informed. Meaning, learning should not be painful. I love Ralph Smedley. Even before I became a Toastmaster, learning should be fun. So that's my life message. Long after I'm gone. like I want people to remember just that. Forget everything else that I did. But learning anything was fun with Vivian. Now let me ask you, does that hold true? Or should I recraft my life message? Any answer from anyone? Does it fit or should I change it? You don't yes. stop learning because you get old. You get old because you stop learning. So there you go. Okay, boys, you have Vivian, you have Joy. We have two gals now. Let's hear from the boys. Right, Joy? You know who the leaders are here. It's the gals. <laughs> okay, boys, go. <laughs> I'll share with you my life motto, which is enjoy the brilliance of each moment. Oh my God, I'm falling in love with Wayne. Sorry, George, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, be, be, before you go to his house, take my uh, input here. You should give with joy and receive with grace. Oh my gosh. Grammarian, this is getting better. Oh my gosh, better. So, Vivian, yes. my life motto is always try to be a mensch. <laughs> <laughs> which is weird for someone who does good deeds oh how cute okay the gals come on did i see wendy's hand gals we gotta catch up when the going gets tough the tough get going ha that's a challenge boys that's a challenge yes who's next okay i'll have to uh let you know that i'm a negotiator so the law of a logical argument anything is possible if you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> all of a sudden i think i like that <laughs> or or the the better one is well think about it. i want a second one go around all right one of the gals go yes we have Michelle, we have Wine and Dine. <gasps> wine and Dine, what's your name? And we have Edda. Okay, Michelle, go, you can do it. <clears throat> if the, you can, the good things in life can be small little moments. They don't always oh. have to be the big exciting things. Don't get me started because I'm a naughty person, Michelle. You can imagine what I will say and I better Zip it for now. <laughs> I'm glad there are no, no people here below 18 because I think I will just remind you because stolen kisses during the teen years were the best moments, right? Even just here, like, yes, simple joys. <laughs> All right, who's next? Todd, are you flying in outer space? <gasps> oh, God, Todd disappeared. Okay, you're there. He's yes, Todd. Yes. The oxygen is thin up here. <laughs> <laughs> so is that your motto that the oxygen is thin out here? <laughs> you have a motto? 
Um, if it's not fun, why do it? I love this club. Perfect. Yes. Okay, one of the girls, we have Eda and Marianne. Go. Marianne. Every day I like to wake up and remind myself to be grateful of the simple things. Yay. Amen. Nice. Amen. Nice. True. True. Second one. Where there is a will, there is a relative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, they just all show up. Yes. <laughs> all right. So who else? Yuri. Mm -hmm. If you're at, if you're asking questions, <laughs> then you're pay, then you're paying attention. That's Again, good. if you're asking questions, if you're asking questions, then you're paying attention. Ah, true, 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 true. Okay, Edda, you have a response to that. <laughs> People know me as a cat lover. <laughs> I say time spent with cats. So you can say animals too is never wasted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Time spent with pets is never wasted. It's unconditional love, right? So there is my version of an inspirational message. Why? Many people deliver the message. But for me to give time, and time is a part of my life to make you feel seen and heard. I thought would be my gift to you because every day, how much time do people give to allow us to be seen and heard? So you might want to think about that for mental health, for emotional wellness, for anxiety. Just give people, as they say, their two minutes of, if not fame, attention. You might want to try this in your Christmas get together. Ask them anything that just gives them time and space to be recognized, to be validated. And I will leave, leave this message to all of you. Three things I hope you can pass on to everybody before the new year rolls in. One, did I live? Two, did I love? Three, did I matter? Did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? I hope that I have shared insights worth remembering and know that I love you and I think of you all month until I see you again in the next meeting. Sending you holiday greetings, Merry Christmas, and may all your fondest wishes come true easily and effortlessly in 2023. I love you from Manila. Thank you, uh, Vivian. Alan, you want to do the introduction?